This is Les, a.k.a. Sister Slayer, here with the Bit and Apple TV in conjunction with It Came from the Radio, and we are taking a bite out of the New Jersey Horror Con. Imagine if you're a little girl like I was who dreamed of being anything in the world, and I, and I had little babies that used to sleep right next to me at night, but imagine my little babies look like this. Isn't it cute? I love it. I am here with Vicki Van Gogh, and she is the creator of Creep Me Out Creations, these lovely dolls that I just love these. Thank you. How did you come up with this concept? Well, actually, it all started with uh, Annabelle. I saw the movie, and I said, oh, I love that doll. I think I want to do that. And so I made one. I sold it on eBay. She sold, and I said, ooh. There's a market, people like this. Yeah. And I made more. And actually, I kept coming to the conventions, and a movie company came up, bought two dolls, and they were in Dementia 13. Wow! You do oh, such the dolls made the movies. Made it. <laughs> these, these dolls are great. I mean, I know this may not be your flavor, but I totally love this. I think this is so adorable. I don't, you know, I love all these. What is your most popular doll, the most popular one that you? Well, a lot of character dolls I do. I'll do Chucky. I'll do Annabelle. The Nun is very popular right now. So a lot of them are gothic dolls. I'll do porcelain dolls, rag dolls, uh, yarn with the hair is made out of yarn. And I do paintings. I started out as a painter, actually. Started out as a painter. Yes. It's yeah. Like mm -hmm. And then it just kept developing and I sell my prints. But most people love the dolls. Now, let me ask you, do you have a specific room just for the dolls? Yes, I have a studio, and I have a doll room. And everybody that comes to my house tries to stay clear of the doll room. Yeah. Do you have anything, I mean, based on how they look? Because I believe that this is, you know, I believe everything has some kind of life or spirit to it. Have you had any creepy things happen with these dolls in all one room? Well, my first doll that I did, which was Annabelle number one, I made her, I put her down on a chair. My boyfriend came in, said, I am not eating in this room with the doll. He put a blanket over the doll. In a half an hour, the doll, well, we think it was the doll, my curio cabinet collapsed completely, broke everything in the curio cabinet. I sold the doll to a paranormal collector in Las Vegas, and he has that right now. And has he said, has he had any follow up with you about anything? I've not followed up with him to see, but he collects it, so I'm sure she's happy there. So you, this, let me ask you something about this one, like Billy, for instance, he's 100, and this, this is a gothic style doll. Where do you purchase your dolls? Well, the dolls underneath are a typical doll that I then bring into the studio and I completely change everything about them. Uh, if, like, let's say the hair is not nice, I'll then make my own hair out of yarn, or I'll buy a different wig, buy them clothes, make their clothes, things like that. And you, per now where do you purchase them? Because they are very unique, they're different. Estate sales, I'll do auctions, eBay, garage sales, things like that. Wow. So I don't know if a lot of you guys have seen our Bitten Apple footage where we actually had, where uh, Cadma actually spent the whole weekend with the Annabelle doll and we did a little film with the Annabelle doll. We definitely would have to use one of Vicky's dolls for one of our, our shows. I mean, we, we came across this and we just really love this. Now, let me ask you, are any of these, how did children react to these game, to these dolls? Well, a lot of the collectors that come to the horror conventions, they are now bringing their kids, which is great. And the kids are slowly but surely getting to like them. I have one collector that had the baby in her belly. She bought her first doll, Vicki Van Gogh doll, and then she collects them ever since for each convention. And the baby's now two years old and it maybe has like six dolls of my dolls. So they're, you know, they come every year and they get used to them and they're like, oh, I like that. And then they I, I think giving a doll, a child a doll like this would definitely make your child fearless because I mean, if you have to have this laying next to you, you know, I'm just saying, if you can sleep next to a doll like this, then you can, be, you can, you can manage anything. Where can we find you on social media, um, your Facebook page, and where are you gonna be next? Okay, so you can find me on Instagram. Facebook. I have a website, um, VickiVanGogh.com, and I will be at Monster Mania next week.
All right, so got, folks, you heard it right here. Vicky Van Gogh is going to be at Monster Mania. You got to go out and get these little dolls, in particular my little baby Spawn doll right here, which I really love. And Billy. Billy is my favorite. Thank you so much uh, for seeing us, and we will see you soon. Take a bite out of the apple before it takes a bite out of